Hi, my name is Dewey. I'm with Self Help Graphics and we're here today to show you how to make paper flowers as part of our virtual flower making community workshops. Hello friends, we're back again. Uh, welcome to our virtual community art workshop. Um, in this workshop we're going to make paper sempasuchis or paper marigolds or paper flowers. I think traditionally we use marigolds as a way to draw in our relatives and spirits to our altars because they're bright and they're super pungent. It's a really beautiful way to welcome our relatives and friends to our altars when we do them each year. Um, so what we're going to need is five sheets of 10 by 15 tissue paper, uh, some pipe cleaners or twisty ties or wire or string to wrap them around, and a pair of scissors to cut stuff. And I think I have my five sheets here. I'm using um, gold uh, tissue paper, traditional uh, marigold color, but you can also use different colors as well, depending on what the color scheme of your decoration is, or your altar, or maybe some of your relatives or friends' favorite colors you can use as well. Um, but today we're keeping it traditional, we're having some fun. So what you're gonna do after you gather your five sheets together, you're gonna align them together as best as you can. And then you're gonna fold them accordion style. So basically with the one inch fold, you're gonna fold going up like that. You're gonna turn it around and you're gonna fold it again. And you're gonna keep doing that all the way until you get to the top. So I'll fold really slow and let my friends catch up here. And you know, if this is a good way, if you're at home, uh, you know, with, with your family and friends, it's a good way to do something that's fun. It's a good way to share stories of, of loved ones who have passed and share their memories while making something decorative for your altars at home as well. Um, I really enjoy it. And I think working with kids, it's a really good way to develop uh, motor skills as far as cutting and, and tying and folding. So it's something that's really fun for everybody. So I have my tissue folded accordion style with the one inch fold. It's ready to, for my next step. And my next step basically is gonna be to fold it in half. And you can put a crease in the middle just to give you a guide of where the middle is at. So there's my, my accordion style flowers folded in half and then the next thing to do with a pair of scissors is to just cut a little piece and you can see all these pieces that we have cut off already of uh, the corner the middle corner uh, please be careful don't cut yourself please if you're you're working with kids cut it for them uh, be really careful and you want to make sure that it looks kind of like that like a bow so once you have that done our next step is to apply our, our uh, pipe cleaner. Uh, if you don't have a pipe cleaner, you can use a twisty tie from like a sandwich bag or a string even, or a thin wire. I think whatever works best. And what you wanna do is kind of twist the, the, the pipe cleaner around the middle part and then twist the bottom tight so that it kind of crimps down a little bit in the flower and then so that also you have enough for like a stem. So it's kind of like that, kind of crimped down in the middle holding the flower together. And it's also gonna be your stem and it's also gonna be something that you can tie it to things. You can tie it to your hair, you can tie it to your friend's hair, you can tie it to a string, you can tie it to a wall. So you think about what you, what you want your decorations to be. Uh, once we have that done, we're gonna cut the edges. Um, and this is what is gonna become our flower petals. So today we're just going to do something really simple and we're going to go ahead and cut it rounded. And cut it rounded like that. And we're going to do both sides. Um, there's definitely lots of different ways that you can cut your flowers. You can cut it rounded, you can cut it pointed. Um, I think here's an example of two that were cut rounded. And then here's an example of one that we cut some points. So, so just to give you some different types of flowers, we put them all together. They look really great together. So once you have them and you bunch them up, they look really great. These make uh, kind of medium-sized flowers. They're not too small, they're not too big. 
Um, again, we use 10 by 15 size paper. So the smaller the paper, the smaller the flower. So if you want to experiment with that as well, you can go ahead. So once we have this done, we're gonna unfurl one side. And then this is the part I usually work with kids, uh, especially young boys, because young boys are like, I don't wanna make flowers. I'm like, yes, but it takes ninja skills to pull these apart. So use your skills and be very careful and pull each sheet of paper carefully up all the way. You want to not be able to see creases in the middle like that, so you want to make sure you get it all the way unfurled. And then just do each one, one by one. And again, as you're doing this with family, you guys could share stories or talk about friends or loved ones who have passed away or talk about friends or loved ones who are still alive. Uh, have some fun, tell jokes, share stories, share cheese mac. If you have a good cheese mac, if not, then it's okay. You could just meditate and make perfect flowers as well. They're looking really good, and I like the colors that y'all chose. The, the hot pink looks really great. That green looks really great in there too. And the tissue paper, I think we bought it in bulk. Um, you could probably get it like at Michael's or any kind of place like that. I know here in downtown LA, there's a place called Joker where they sell like big packs of it. Uh, one of those like party places that sells thing does as well. And then just keep on furling the other side. And you know, have fun while you do it. This is something that should be fun. Uh, it's a really fun exercise again. It's something that I like to share that I learned a long time ago. And I've been doing this workshop, oh my God, for maybe the past 10 years. So not too long. <laughs> I still can't make the, I'm still trying to make the perfect flower, so. So just keep them curling and kind of fluff them out. Uh, it doesn't matter if you tear it or if it gets messed up. That's okay. That's part of it. And I tore it just as I said that as well. So there's our paper marigold, our paper simpasucho for our altars. Um, it looks really great as a decoration. It's something that lasts as well so that it doesn't rot or get rotten. And you can keep it for next year or you can make them again, and it's also a skill you can use for other holidays. I think I make paper flowers for my mom sometimes. Uh, hope you all enjoy. Uh, definitely make lots of flowers. Have fun and have a great deal. Los muertos. Bye.